My name is Pontus Johansson and I'm product manager here at Cincino. I have a commercial focus and today I would like to talk to you what I see important with the balance concept and how we together can do to increase sales and the profitability that we have for the products. And the elements I would like to talk to you about to make this clear is the cell and in particular the cell membrane. Of course, uh, we'll talk to you about the assortment as well and how we can vary and work with that. And these two elements together will create the goal of increasing the sales and profitability. So I would like to start with myself and not just for the egoistic perspective of talking about me, but also my story of health. So I'm born and raised in a quite big family with five siblings and we have always competed and played sports. And even though I knew that I wouldn't become a world champion in football or win a grand slam in tennis, I have continued to play these sports because I know it is important to move and exercise. Uh, and when I turned around 30, my body told me that you need to focus a bit on the food as well. So I tried to reduce the fat, get my proteins and fibers and reduce sugar and salt and around that. So I, I think that my perception is that I've lived a kind of healthy life. And I'm really thankful for the opportunity to work here at Cincino. Because when I started, of course, I did the test, the balance test. And I thought that, yeah, I, I think that I will score quite good. And the result is on the top right corner. It's unbalanced. It's 10 to 1. And the omega-3 index, as you see, is just above 3, which is not so good. And I will focus today on the omega-3 index. So the revelation for me was that I think that I have lived a healthy life but I have not focused on the most fundamental part which creates health, which is the cell. So what did I do? Of course, I did take the balance oil and the other supplements in the health protocol. And after four months, I was in balance. I have not reached the goal for the omega-3 index, but I will do that, I'm certain. Emily tells me that now I am in perfect condition, so I trust her. Uh, so now I feel good and, and not only that, I, that, that the data tells me that I feel good. During the autumn and winter I fact actually felt more energized. I felt more healthy than I did before. So I know that this works and if it works for me I'm pretty sure that it will work for you as well. So what is then important with a cell? I would like to stick to this page because I think it is crucial that we have a simple message. The most difficult thing you can do is to translate a complex information into a simple message. So when you're talking to your customers and partners, it is of course really easy to start talking about all the effects and functions and consequences that the Cincino products can do. But if you're not... Uh, uh, well informed about nutrition, all this information can be overwhelming for you. So then it's much easier to stick to one message. For me, the fundamental thing is to talk about the cell. And you need to understand this, and I think that you do. Uh, this information maybe is not new for me, but for me it is important, so that's why I will tell you this. Uh, the cell, regardless if you have the cell in the brain, in your heart, in your bones, they uh, do have different functions, but the setup is the same. So you have a cell core and a cell membrane. In the cell membrane, you need to have saturated fat to create the stiffness, the rigidness to it. But if you have too much saturated fat, like in my case, I only had around 3% of omega-3s in it, it gets not uh, fluid which means that the cell itself cannot breathe. It cannot let in nutrition and it cannot let out waste. That is why you need the omega-3s. Because the omega-3, the strings is a bit longer and it's crooked, as you see in the bottom left corner with the fluidity. And when they are longer and more uh, crooked, 
that is what creates the fluidity. Then it creates the possibility for the cell to take in uh, information, I was about to say, but nutrition and let out the, the waste. So if you understand this and if you can inform this to your customers and partners, that is the fundamental information uh, for them to understand. The consequence, if you have a cell uh, in good condition, then the consequence is, of course, for the brain, for the inflammation uh, uh, balance, for the cholesterol and everything around that. But don't start to talk about the consequences. First, start with the basics and then you can uh, uh, continue with the other information. And that is something that is really important for me. That is to keep the message simple. I, I, tell you that, I told you that before and I will repeat it again. Sincino is about preventative health, inspire change in life. So what this means, and I will talk about life a little bit later, but don't complicate it, start talking about various diseases because then you're uh, creating a risk and a threat and that is not good for the consumer to start hearing about. We have a positive message and we have the preventative health that will affect their life. And we're talking about the whole lifespan, not two weeks or four months. It's a whole life that we have the possibility to, to change. So make the uh, information uh, really simple because then that is more easy to con uh, convince the consumer about. So if we then are so convinced about that omega-3 and the cell membrane is important, but what data do we then have to prove it? And I really must say this, I am so glad that, uh, that we have the world's largest blood fatty acid database. No one else, no competitive, no other company has this amount of data. So in this uh, moment, we have almost performed one million tests. So in these years that we have done this, it's amazing figures. And it's not only amazing that we have done this, but it creates a possibility to analyze, to understand the status of the persons that have taken the first test, the second and the third test. And I talked about the omega-3 index in the cell membrane, why it's so important. And the goal is to have around 8% omega-3 uh, uh, molecules in the cell membrane. So 8%. If you look at the ones who do not take any uh, omega-3 supplements in the first test, you see that the result is around 3 and 4, so not close to reach the goal. But the more important thing for me is if you talk to a customer that says that, yeah, well, you know, I already take omega-3 supplements. I don't need this. I already know that, that it works for me. The data that we have shows that the ones who take omega-3 supplements do not reach the 8%. They reach around 4, 4.5, up to 5%, but not 8. So they're not close to reaching that. The reason for why they don't do that I will talk about later, but it's about the antioxidant, so keep that in mind. So is this a new phenomenon, or has it always been like this? I, I think you know the answer for it. So around uh, 1950s, we started to change behavior. We started to eat ultra-processed food. Food got more accessible, it got cheaper. So what uh, the consequence of that was that it, it increased the total fat level, it decreased the vitamins, it increased the saturated fat. In addition to that, it decreased the omega-3s and it increased the omega-6 a bit. Of course, we have not done tests in 10,000 years as this scale shows. That would be kind of interesting to know that. But with evidence that we have from uh, skin tissues that have done uh, that, has, uh, that we have, not we, but that are made uh, analysis of, we can do this uh, um, we, we can show evidence of how we can, how we see this situation. Sorry for not being more clear, but we know what is important with this is that we see that we have changed behavior from the 1950s. And if we have changed behavior to decrease the nutrition for the body, the message for us is then that then it's possible to change behavior and get it back. So I see this as really positive. It's really negative for the total population to have affected the bodies like this. But for us, it is really positive to have this opportunity for the people to increase their health. 
Uh, and is health about two weeks or four weeks that I said before? No. And this is something that I also, when you introduce this, when you hopefully take the first test and when they do uh, take the first supplements, Cincino is about inspired change in life. It's for the whole life. And I would like your goal not to be have a subscri subscription for six months, but at least 12 months, because it's first then that you actually can will see the big benefits of what the products together can do for you. And as said, it's for the whole life. So regardless if you're six months old or 100 years and six years, that it's about the cell. It's the same cells in your body that creates the normal state that you want the body to work with. The function in different time, times and age spans is of course different. So when you are an infant, a child, if you're growing, you need to, or you need, the, the cognitive function is developing. So then you need a little bit more DHA. So we know that. So that is something that we know from the physical need that you have. When you're turning 20, become adult, of course, you also know that it is the, the total package with the skin, with the immune system, with the brain, everything around that. If you're pregnant, you know that for the cognitive function for the child, you need, uh, you need the omega-3s to it. And one thing in this that is frustrating for me is when you become a bit older, so 40, 50, 60, and you know that your body is degenerating a little bit. But what is frustrating me about this is that we accept the acceleration of the de degeneration too quickly. You know that you get a bit pain in your back or your knees start to hurt, you're, you don't see that good. It's of course a natural consequence of aging. But we should not accept the acceleration of the degeneration of the body that we have. If we would focus on the cell, the cell membrane, if we would be in balance, I am 100% certain that we would feel better, live longer and have, uh, have the possibility to create a more healthy life. So the message for you, have patience. Do not stress. You don't need to stress because our products will help you for the whole life. If you are in balance within four months or six months, that is first when the cell will be able to use all the nutrition, let go of the waste and really grow as it wants to. If you have spent many years in punishing, yeah, punishing the body with bad food, it will not repair at once. It will not be magic. You will need some time. So for the ones who say that they don't feel anything, please have patience. We have, they will have data for it when they do the second test, and we know that the benefits will come much better afterwards. So we have talked about the cell, about the function, how can we then work with it? So our offer, of course, I would like to talk to you about the assortment and not only describe the product as they are, but also the function to it. So starting with the balance oil, we have a really good product, we know that. If you don't know the, the setup with it, it is fish oil combined with olive oil. We're talking about polyphenol, polyphenols are antioxidants. We need the antioxidants in the body to uh, be able for the omega-3s to actually work. In the Balance Oil Plus, we have various flavors. We have the uh, OLM, uh, orange lemon mint, we have the grapefruit, the lime, we have tutti frutti and more. And we have the sizes in 300 and in 100 milliliters. So already here, you have a good possibility to vary. If you want to treat yourself with even more uh, antioxidants, we have the premium bottle to the left. So this is even more uh, polyphenols. The fish oil is the same, but we have a more, con not concentrated, but a different uh, um, olive oil which then creates more antioxidants. So if you want to have like a Christmas treat where you treat your body in a much better way, you have the antioxidants warriors in your body, please use this because this is a really, really good product. Continuing with the Aqua X. So Aqua X is a water soluble product. So if you don't like the texture of the oil, this is something that you can blend in water or any other liquid and, uh, and you can drink it and you don't feel any of the oils. 
But another function of it that we maybe not talk too much about is that if you have a difficulty in your body to absorb fat or if you have acid reflux, this is a perfect product for you to use. So don't only focus on that it's water soluble, but it also has a different function. Going uh, continue with a vegan. If you don't, uh, if you have the ethical choice not to eat meat, you have a vegan option as well. So that's good. We have it in a lemon flavor, and not only that, that it's a vegan option, but also that it contains higher DHA. And wh when is that important? I talked to you about when. Uh, increasing or when growing the cognitive function for pregnant or lactating women, this is a really good alternative for them. We also have when you go uh, traveling or if you don't like the oils at all, you have the capsule. So Ascent Plus Premium in capsule form, this is perfect uh, fit for you for those needs. And the message here is that we have so many good products. I would like you as a partner to inspire your customers or other partners to actually test out the full uh, assortment that we have. It is good for your physical part, but also for your mental part, because you, you feel that you would like to vary. Sometimes you get tired of using the same flavor. So please try it. And I will also come back to why it is important for me from a commercial point of view. So let's look at the next setup here. I talked to you about before and I, will, uh, I just want to stay here and emphasize the reason why I believe that our products are outstanding. So we need to understand the, the fish and the fish, how it creates the omega-3s. So the fish eats algae. Algae are transformed in the body, it's broken down to the longer strings of EPA and DHA. It is created uh, in the fish fat and in the uh, meat, and there it's also compiled with antioxidants. So if you eat a fat fish like the salmon or sardines or uh, herring, then you already get the full package. It's served right to you. So I really uh, um, uh, think that uh, eating fish is a good alternative. But if you want to, when you're doing the transformation or when you produce the fish oil, you, in the production, the antioxidants are lost. That is why we in Cincino are taking the fish oil and adding the olive oil with the antioxidants in it. Because if you don't have the antioxidant in it, as many or most of our competitors don't have, they might have some or uh, they might have, have nothing. The risk then is that the fish oil oxidizes. And when it oxidizes, it doesn't work. And what is the evidence for that? So I talked about the omega-3 index before. This is a setup for the balance that Emily has shown many times. So the balance we are talking about, we want the three to one ratio in the EPA and arachidonic acid. We see that for the ones who don't take supplements, we have an average of almost 15 to one. For the ones who take omega-3 supplements, we have an average of around 10. Same situation as I did without actually even taking supplements. But the fact-based uh, um, analysis and result for when taking Cincino products in the second test shows that we reach the level of 3.1. Average is actually even below that. So we know that our products work. We have facts on that. So rest assured that this is a good solution for you. So we have talked about the cell, we have talked about the products that we have, how to vary and how to do uh, work. And I said before, I want to, for you to try out all the products that we have. And I hope that you see this picture. This is uh, really pure joy uh, for me to show a pie chart. So now we are talking about the commercial aspects of using the balance oil. So this I have taken out just the sales for the balance product. And of course, I'm really happy for to see big sellers like the OLM, the uh, orange lemon mint, the grapefruit lemon mint, the lemon. Uh, it really facilitates to have long production runs with these products because uh, that decreases the cost. And also when we buy bigger batches, we can press down prices. The negative thing with having uh, tiny or tiny but smaller products is the total opposite. If we buy less uh, ingredients, we are paying a higher price. If we are producing shorter batches, it gets more expensive. So 
as we are working in teams, I would really like you to get your partners and customers to try out more products because that will facilitate for me to make an even better job. So I will be able to push down prices which will benefit you in the long run. But not only looking at the product itself, but this one is uh, focusing on the country perspective. So this is uh, motivation from my point of view. I provide that to you for free. So it's of course good to see big countries like Germany, like Hungary, like the Czech Republic, Sweden and so on. Because if you have big countries selling a lot, then it facilitates once again for me to have longer production, reducing cost. I've already said that. And at the same time, looking at smaller countries, uh, it is the opposite. It increases the cost if we have smaller runs. For me, it was when starting here, uh, I come from a food uh, industry where we work with a bigger assortment. So coming here with this kind of limited assortment that we have in the balance oil, I was really pleased to see that we have a good enough offer for the consumers with different tastes, with different functions. So this is perfect setup. But then seeing the language clusters for each product, it really blew my mind a little bit. So this is looking at the orange lemon mint. It's one product, but it up, it's up to 25 different language clusters. And what does that then mean for me? It means that in order to produce the orange lemon mint, the production needs to stop 25 times in order to change labels. Every stop costs money. So if we have a smaller languages, uh, smaller countries with that, of course it affects the cost for it. And I really hope that you see this as motivation because next time I'm taking this uh, information out next time. So I really hope that your language and your market that you're working with has jumped up. So then we might talk that you are in the top five or top 10 position. So see this as a motivation for you. But looking at the big countries like Germany or Hungary, do we see that they are, they are so big, so they might be in a saturated market. Can they increase and grow even more? Now we are coming to the, uh, one of the last slides and last part of the presentation. And this is, this is motivation and inspiration almost in a humorous way for me. So as I said before, we have performed almost one million tests. So that's amazing. I really think that you have done an amazing work to create this amount of tests. Looking at how many uh, people around the world and what's the percentage. Okay, we have done 1 million tests and the global population is around 8 billion. So it's 0.00 something percent. It's really tiny. But then you might say that, yeah, this is unfair because we're not in all markets. Yeah, I know. We're not in all markets yet. I am certain that we will be. Not in a not too far future. So, but okay, we, we look at the markets that we are working in. So looking at Germany, the biggest market. Here we have uh, performed 80,000 tests, really good result. But looking at the population of 84 million, that equals 0.1% in Germany has done the tests. What is then the potential? We have a 99.9% .9 potential in Germany. The biggest market has the biggest potential. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Looking at Hungary, 57,000 tests out of 10 million equals 0 0.57. So we have 99.5% potential in Hungary. Czech Republic is the same level, 99.5% uh, potential. Then you might say, ah, but this is unfair because these are kind of new markets. Yeah, okay, I agree. Let's look at Sweden then and Norway. Here we have, the, uh, we have worked with them the longest time. And in Sweden, we have done quite many tests, so 120,000 tests. It's out from a population of 10 million, so it's 1.14% in Sweden that have done the test. It's more than 98% potential. Same in Norway, more than 98. So regardless which market you're in, you have more than 98% potential in the market to go out. So what are you waiting for? 
we need the message to be spread in the market. We need people to take the test and start using the product because then we know that we can affect the world in a positive way. So I really hope that you see this as we have so great potential left out there. So I would like to end this and sum this uh, presentation up. I hope that you have some good takeouts out from it. We have talked about the cell, the importance of the cell membrane. We have talked about the assortment, what we can do to vary it, that you need the product the whole life because we need to have the cell in a good shape. And these two together, I really hope that we can create the business plus health equals happiness. Happiness for everyone. So I thank you very much for this time. Hope you will have a good uh, rest of the day. Thank you very much.